So last year on Pride Month, Target released some not unsavory things to the local and into the wild. And I believe a, they, 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 they release a lot of Pride stuff. So like tucking and cooming and dicking and flipping and uh, flopping, right? Yeah, tuck friendly outfits for little kids, all right? Little girls and little boys that are like freaking five years old. And then when you go to Target, you ask your mommy and daddy, mommy, daddy, what does tucking mean? What is that? Right? And then you're like, oh, I got to get the fuck out of here. So what happened was they received a lot of backlash. And not only that, they lost a lot of money in stocks. So... This comes to us from Scanner News, SCNR. It says Target ditches Pride Month merchandise after last year's backlash. So this came out five days ago. Company refuses to say how many stores will no longer sell LGBTQ items. Now, I can see this happening in a lot of conservative, conservative states. Right? More conservative states will probably remove all of this. Because according to what I heard... Um, with a lot of the backlash, they ended up moving a lot of the LGBT pride shit all the way to the back and maybe even in the clearance aisle. But yeah, so like I, I wanted to make sure this is true. So I went to my local local Target and you walk right in there and you take like three steps, like right next to the self checkout area is literally right there. The, the LGBTQ tuck friendly bullcrap, right? So yes, good, good. Don't have the shit there, man. It's because, yeah, like here's the thing. Um, if you guys don't know where I stand in, in terms of politically, I stand libertarian. I, I, I'm a conservative, leaning more conservative libertarian. However, um, seeing stuff like, uh, you know, doctors doing crazy ass shit to little kids, uh, hearing, you know, freaking, uh, you know, Target doing LGBTQ pride shit, like it's moving more, me more to the right. Is because libertarian mindset is leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to I, just leave me alone. Do it a hell, whatever hell you want, right? But if you are doing whatever the hell you want, you're going to inspire people, which is probably not not something I would like, and influence people, especially at a young age, to act and behave like you do. And those are the people who, um, people who are saying, you know what? I don't care what you do, just leave me out of it that's a libertarian mindset and i i don't want my son to be seeing this type of shit whenever we go to target i don't want my son seeing like like these things to where they're not ready like i'm not ready to tell him the answer right the thing is that yes in the own privacy of your own home do whatever the hell you want right but the thing is that if you go down to west hollywood and you see a bunch of like pride people during pride month going up and down the streets literally having sex with each other publicly in front of everyone and including little kids and plus these events are kid friendly get the fuck out of here man hell no and this is the shit that's pushing me towards the right like, I, I, I get the, get that shit out of here, man. I don't want to see it. Right? Like, privacy your own home. You want to fucking have sex with each other? You want to fucking sodomize one another? You want to have scissors and trip each other to death? Go for it. I don't fucking care. Right? But not in front of my kids. Not in front of fuck the public. All right? Even as when I wasn't a parent, when I'm, when I did, when I wasn't a father yet, I was extremely against this shit. Like, dude. I don't like shit being shoved down your throat. Now seeing LGBT pride shit that's coming out every every June, every freaking company on Twitter, will, um, you know, USA, that is, will put a, uh, a rainbow flag. And then if you're in Saudi Arabia or any other more conservative leaning countries, you'll just have the regular out. It's like this is just like fucking grifting, pandering. And you're, you're basically trying to like. I. I don't know. You're just basically trying to make everyone believe the same thing that you do. And that's why I'm homeschooling my son. Absolutely not, man. Hell fucking no. And the thing is that I, me and my wife did try to boycott Target as much as we could. Until the, until basically, we probably boycotted them for like probably four or five months. But uh, I, I do want to see what it says. Target says it is cutting LGBTQ merchandise at some stores this spring after the mega retailer suffered fierce backlash and sales losses last year over its marketing push for transgender themed items. The company announced that May 9th that its Pride Month apparel will be available only 
Uh, so online only and the select stores based on historical sales performance. This marks a shift from prior years during which LGBTQ merchandise was available at all stars. I would say, yes, this should be. I would say if you want to start your own LGBTQ store, like Lane Bryant for fat people, right? The, 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 the big the big kid clothes or whatever for, for big dudes, like go for it. If you want to make like freaking, uh, freaking LGBTQ merchandise and just sell it straight, you know, strictly as LGBTQ stores, go for it. No one's going to stop you, but no straight people will ever go inside. Just letting you know. The last spring, the company was forced to alter its marketing after facing national outrage over pride themed merchandise, which included clothes and books for children. Yeah, that, that that's crazy, man. The books are insane and they're reading this shit to your kids at school. Target also sold tuck friendly swimsuits that allow transgender people to conceal their penis. <laughs> Sorry, genitalia. After introducing last year's collection, the company experienced threats impacting our team members' sense of safety and well-being while at work, a spokesperson said at the time. Given these volatile circumstances, we are making adjustments to our plans, including removing items that have been at the center of the most significant confrontational behavior. It, the spokesperson said the company, which operates around 2000 stores and moved the pride displays from entrances of some stores around the U.S. and placed them in the back, uh, remove them all together, remove them all together. These are specialty items, man. I don't I don't go to Target to buy specialty items. I go to Target to buy everyday products. OK, I don't go there to buy fucking like whips, ball gags. I, I don't go there to buy fucking uh, dildos and shit like that. However, they do have vibrators and KY jelly. Whatever floats your boat. But yeah, man. Uh, as stated in an announcement, Pride Month themed products, including adult apparel, home food, and beverage will be curated based on customer feedback. A Target spokesperson declined to disclose the number of stores no longer carrying LGBTQ merchandise, but said customers some con sorry consumers will have access to the uh, entire collection online which is how it should be target is committed to supporting the lgbtqia plus and soon to be p i guarantee fucking to you i'll see p in there i'm gonna fucking <sighs> sorry a community during pride month and year round target said in an email statement to the uh, associate press uh, sorry associated press most importantly we want to create a welcoming and supported environment for our rainbow people uh team members uh, which reflects our culture and care for the over four hundred thousand people who work at target how many lgbtq people are there in the world or at least in the u.s seven percent that's a significantly low amount Right. But here's the thing, though. How would you feel if like all the stuff that like has to do with like a specific gender was at the back of the store, like at the corner, corner back of the store? That's going to be fucked up. You know what? You remove them all together. Look, I understand. But let's say if like your demographic is about 10 percent to 15 percent. Right. I believe the amount of black people in the U.S. is about 15, 16, maybe 17 percent. So this is like 7 percent. Right. So maybe between five and seven, this is really, really low. But yeah, um, the head of human rights campaign at US LGBTQ advocacy group told the AP that Target's decision was disappointing and risks alienating LGBTQ. Which one is it? LGBTQIA+, LGBT dicks, or LGBT dick sucking dicks? Which one is it, huh? Stop it. Calm down. Pride merchandise means something. And it also means nothing to a lot of us. A uh, human rights campaign, President Kelly Robinson said, LGBTQ plus people are in every zip code in the country and they aren't going anywhere. Now, we're not saying that they should not have the ability to live, right? We're not saying that. We're not saying that they, they, they can't find happiness here or anything like that. You know, the, the life, liberty and pursuit of happiness. But the thing is that if you start pu pushing your happiness onto other people by saying, oh, we got to put the thing in the target and then you want to see the tucking and then the bonus hole and then the <laughs> no, it's done no no nobody's going nobody wants to see that shit man do that shit in the privacy of your own home no little kids need to, i don't want my son asking me dad what is a bonus hole i don't I, I, I what what is this i i don't need to tell them that shit right he's 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 not even he's not even two years old 
right? I don't, I don't need this shit. And you know what? I should, I, man, it's about time I moved out of California, man. There's too many woke shit here. Too many.